Alright. Gonna go ahead and jump in. Uh, this is one of three Mario games I'm gonna be playing in the next couple of months that I have not played at all uh, so far. I mean, I've tested this cartridge out just to make sure that it works and that basically just played through the first stage. But other than that, it's pretty much all new to me. I skipped the original Game Boy when it was current. Never really found portable games to be that appealing, just because they felt like watered-down console games. But, I don't know, these days, since I'm more interested in retro games than current games in the first place, I feel like I ought to be able to give the Game Boy a second shot and actually, you know, maybe appreciate it for what it was. It's a weird uh, Super Bowl power-up. It's basically the Fire Flower, except your shots, like, ricochet on every direction. You can only put one projectile on screen instead of two. I also really have no idea how difficult this game is supposed to be, and how important coins are going to be. I also think this controller's a little worn out. Not having the easiest time switching directions. Also, some enemies take two shots. I'm guessing that was supposed to be a Firefly from uh, Fighterfly from the original Mario Brothers game. Is this the Can Can? get a bonus game if you take the top exit. It's a little stiff, so this is going to take some getting used to. gonna be another one of those games where one-ups are rare in the levels and you have to depend on the roulette at the end of the stage. <laughs> and from what I recall reading in the manual, points actually kind of matter in this game because you can't continue unless if you reach a certain score. Oh god, the Koopa Troopers are weird in this game. You can't kick them, they just explode. single coin. Kind of generous on power ups and light on enemies. <laughs> but it's a Game Boy game. Uh, TJ. Playing it on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, this is Portable Mario from 1989. primitive a game you can get while still delivering a kind of NES experience. This thing gonna... what is this? Ah, uh, of course. Or at least they 
show you what that is in a safe environment. Instead of giving it, giving it to you over a bottomless pit for the first time. Oh, that's two in a row. Oh yeah, this is that music they remixed for Smash Brothers. Which I think was the first place I heard it. For as primitive as the Game Boy is, I think its sound chip is definitely on par with the NES. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if that's an instant kill. Oh, come on. Look like that went straight through him. I guess this is one of those games that turns you back into small Mario whenever you take a hit, no matter what. Give me a mushroom. Oh my god! Guys? Yes, I can. I'm supposed to be able to get up there, or is that an exit pipe? <sighs> I've been tricked. Even it's supposed to get okay. I guess that's a mushroom, and then you break out from below. Okay, we got bosses. Crap. Do you have any checkpoints in this game? Looks like you do. Oh, do they not give you space for a power-up before the boss? I guess they start you right there. Okay, I guess you don't jump on them. I guess it's like the axe in Super Mario Brothers. You just get past him. <laughs> it's wired to explode. Can't jump on the fish. These controls are gonna throw me off for a while. Mario definitely has some weird weight to him in this game.
Oh wow, I seriously can't get those unless if I have the Super Ball. You're supposed to use it to ricochet up there. Or just a mushroom to break into that place. Just different enough to throw you off if you're used to Super Mario Bros. This stage isn't literally looping, is it? This layout looks like it repeated. Oh, that sucks. would be better, but actually having the power up back is pretty useful. Of course, this is one stage where they give it to you right at the beginning. Oh, they're really generous on bonus rooms in this game. I was trying to not break that other brick. can't get in here. God damn. Oh my god. This game feels so weird to control. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I can't get up there. It's good enough. Quite the level variety as Mario 3 so far, but World 2 does seem distinct from World 1 at least. What on earth? <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. Okay, if you can't go backwards, how are you even supposed to get on the bottom path there with all the coins? Not even paying attention. Really? Can I not? Okay, you can jump on him. Didn't seem like the projectiles were working. I should also probably stop jumping across these moving platforms before I even see, like, what their pathing is like. I've been kind of jumping the gun so far and getting lucky. That's so weird. It doesn't look like an enemy that would be immune to, like, fireballs.
Wait a minute. I really reuse the same building oh, shit. <laughs> the same building blocks for these stages. Definitely seems like the kind of game where coins matter. Uh, oh. Well, blew that. I guess it's gonna get harder and harder to earn that bonus game as this game drags on. For the most part, this game just feels like a stripped down Super Mario Brothers. This is pretty unique. God dang. Didn't expect that to change directions. Well, if I'm not mistaken, like in the original design documents for Super Mario Brothers, they had plans for. I don't know if it was to give Mario a ship like this, but they were going to give him some kind of, like, gun weapon. And the way this thing controls, like, might be. Oh wow, they just... huh. Anyway, this might be based on that. If nothing else, I'm pretty sure this is where Mario Maker got the inspiration for like, the Koopa Clown car the fireballs that it can shoot in that game. faster than that for some reason. You can move faster to the left than you can to the right. It's very strange. What game am I even playing now? Mario or Gradius? Oh, do you even need to kill the boss? Like, can you get down here and break through without shooting him? That's interesting. What is even the point? Uh, yeah, I'll just take this. Once again, we see Japan's fascination with Easter Island. Turn around and shoot him. Jeez. Shoot that. Yeah, 
I wouldn't say that Mario controls badly in this game, but it definitely takes some getting used to if you've played literally any other Mario game. Like, it's probably closer to like, Donkey Kong than anything else. you just need the power up to get those coins. If the piranha plants follow the same rules as in Super Mario Brothers and don't exit their pipes if you're standing right next to them. Oh, of course it would shoot that way. Why would why would I expect otherwise? <laughs> A lot of multi coin blocks in this game. I think I only remember one from the first stage. Yeah, this thing does not care if you're standing on top of the pipe or not. Holy shoot. What on? <laughs> okay. God, that looks weird as hell. Would it kill you to give me a mushroom? Because they're just slightly out of sync. So I have to wait for them to get closer. Oh, my God. oh that's... I, I knew it was going to happen. I saw it happening just a second before. <laughs> Stages have multiple checkpoints, so that's kind of them. So you can still get on that pipe. That is a lot of coins. Do they ever hide anything in the bricks in these bonus rooms? Are they literally just platforms. a decent job at switching up the challenges on you. This level feels a lot longer than the earlier ones, too. Oh, you know, 
Alex is back. take three one-ups. I think the strategy for that bonus game is to take either the top route or the bottom route, and if possible, trying to make it so that you're either going for a three-up or a flower, so that you're guaranteed one of those. Because I can't really get a good grip on where the ladder is in that bonus game. I'm not even really paying attention to it. I'm just trying to make a selection in such a way that even if the ladder is there or isn't there, I still get a good option. Did they bring these spider enemies back in one of the new Super Mario Brothers games? Because they seem kind of familiar. Like the ones that drop from the ceiling specifically. The second time I've seen a pipe up on the ceiling like that, without an obvious way to reach it. Very curious. This is like the first Mario game I've ever played where I never want to run, because I don't have a good grasp on <laughs> the physics at all. God, thin platforms and like falling debris. same amount of points for jumping on an enemy as you do shooting them. Probably get a chain bonus if you jump on multiple enemies at a time. There's another enemy that takes two shots. here. I think it's going to be standing on the very right. It's kind of a low ceiling. Mm. Very gradual difficulty curve. Very appropriate. I see a 3 up on the bottom option or the top option, I'm pretty much always going to take it, I think.
I expected that to be a bonus room, considering that there was a collapsible platform that reached to it. God, there's a lot of coins. <laughs> just the way he, Mario, like, stutters every time he lands there. Okay, this time there was a flower. Last time there was just a coin, and I was in a similar bonus room. You run across single gaps? Okay, good. I'm not gonna risk jumping for single coins. Oh, come on! <laughs> At least it lets me pick up right here, but... Oh. Even Lost Levels gives you a little bit more of a tell when it throws that kind of stuff at you. as hell. It's also something interesting I've noticed is that whenever you grab a mushroom, it doesn't freeze the game like it does in Super Mario Brothers. Which honestly I might I might like more. Or at least I definitely would in like new Super Mario Brothers, the multiplayer games. Because one of the most frustrating things to just well I'll just run past this guy. Like, it's one of those frustrating things when you're playing multiplayer and someone else gets hit and it throws off your timing because the screen freezes every time it happens. I wonder why they kept that. When's Daisy getting into a game of her own? Like, other than this singular game, I think the only other games she appears in are, like, the sports games and, like, Mario Party and stuff like that. Wow, was I supposed to know to fall to the right there? to get some of these. I'm gonna find that's good enough. I got a one up. Don't wanna waste too much time. I have no idea how long this level is. Rare to hear straight up Chinese influenced music in a Mario game. What on? <laughs> oh, that's. Was that like a human enemy? God, that was random as hell. What is this? Oh, is it one of those... like Chinese vampires that just hop around? Because they can't bend their knees? Hmm. 
not vampires, like zombies. I'm a very uncultured person. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh wow, they come back. across the top of any of these stages, like you can in the underground stages in the first game. Oh, there's a multi-coin block. Running kinda low on time. Go into any upside down pipes. I have so far. I just need to start moving. Uh, I don't know why I didn't stop. Seems real generous with checkpoints. So I can't remember another Mario game I've played, at least one of the side scrollers, that had more than one checkpoint per level. <sighs> I don't agree with that collision detection, but it's fine. stage yet. Well, I can't kick those... Wow, do they just respawn indefinitely unless if you kill them with fire? Got punched right in the face. Very interesting enemy. Dry bones. Okay, I need to stop dropping the spaghetti. Any of these bonus rooms? So I'm gonna be dying over and over here. It wouldn't hurt to check. Just fall down a pit. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's like Mario 1, you don't really get a high bounce off of enemies. Oh, hey! Oh, come on! Just drop straight down. Oh, God. If I'm small, do these not hit me? <laughs> Really? 
It's not even a mushroom. Doing too bad. Whoops, I did not even mean to go in that pipe. Would have been real nice to have a fireball for that. Last regular platforming stage too. So definitely want to hold on to this power up if I can. Oh wow, is that like a Mario 3 Roto disc? Wow, it just sinks through the floor? Okay, I didn't need that. so much more advantageous to be able to shoot those turtles instead of having to jump on them because then they don't explode on you. It's real weird to have turtle enemies that just blow up instead of being able to kick them around. I like this bonus game a lot more than the Mario 2 slot machine. It's a lot easier. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is the last stage.
It's just like some balloon fight crap right here. Those sparks. Kill those things when you're invincible. Because I can. Is there new stuff out until the very end, huh? Gets his own theme. Crap. Got him? Is that game? So that makes this the first Mario game with an actual credit sequence. Like they're not even using pen names either. That's interesting. Clocked in at about 45 minutes, so even though it has less than half the stages as Mario 1, it took me about the exact same amount of time. It's mostly because it was the first time I played the game and just was like never using the run button. <laughs> It's pretty competent for what it is, like a launch Game Boy game. Pretty good level variety, like for a real basic Mario game. It honestly kind of fits in well with American Mario too. Like the Egyptian theme isn't that different from the Arabian theme. Give Daisy a real game, you cowards. 